What's up everyone? Welcome back to Soup Machine. I'm Obix and today we are moving on to the seventh chapter, the core. There's no need for a bigger introduction. Let's just get right into action and explore the next game. I must say, thank you Nero for coming to say hi while I'm starting the recording. Um, yeah, she's meowing a lot right now. I'm sorry if you hear her, but yeah, she's being a little menace. Um, I must say, I have lowered my expectations. I have no fucking idea how big the next game is going to be, but I gave up on trying to guess because it's been two games that I thought, oh yeah, this one is going to be big. We're going to go back to previous locations. And then they were actually quite small games. So yeah, I don't know if I was confusing with the fourth game. I don't know if it's a further game that I'm thinking of. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into it. Let's jump into action and see what awaits us. Oh. Steel tube. Also, I must say I'm not at 100% because two days ago I removed the tooth. And because of that, I... Like, my gum is a bit swollen. I feel slightly sick on my throat. But still, that shouldn't stop me from having a good time. Note to self, possible entry points failed. Check on 291. Good feeling about this one. Hmm. Okay. I think there used to be a secret inside one of these boxes. I'm gonna keep checking them all. Huh. I'm so intrigued about these drawings. There's some weird puzzle coming up. What else did I find? Both card, gate order, stone grid, field tube, and keystone. Ah, oh, it's the diamond one. Okay. I cannot take the card. Right. E. The same color as the pillar, really. Sneaky bastard. Let's just get it already. Mind is everything. What do you think you become? Okay. Oh, this shot is pretty cool. An artillery gun. Like a machine gun or something. Covered in all these glowy plants. That's cool. Isn't there something else also in one of those pots? Keystone. I see. Oh, this is... This used to be a portal. Oh. Animation is pretty cool. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I had the feeling. I had the feeling that there was one of those around this area. Okay. The other keystone. Be the witness of your thoughts. So I keep the stick. I can 
and put it here. Shall we move on? <laughs> Hello, my name is Elizabeth. Welcome to my Temple of Solitude. There is a great chance that you wandered here after being tested by Murtag. If that is the case, I am very sorry that I couldn't get to you before him. It must have been tough on you to get through all his traps, tests and tasks to fulfill. However, worry no more. If you can't find me in the garden, then I am at the laboratory and will be joining you shortly. Please wait patiently here and try not to touch anything. Thank you. L. I will not. I will keep exploring my dude. We the king welcome you in our south garden. Those who seek peace and calmness will find it under the leaves of our blessed flora. How could they have possibly known? How could they mimic the structure of the subnet so accurately within simple garden plans? This is completely baffling. Elizabeth. So does the garden mimic the structure of the whole net and all the different dimensions and so on? That's interesting. I never understood that. Are here, like here. Wait, I'm curious now. What about now? So I jumped from here to here. Huh. I have to insert the cube here. We the king welcome you in our winter palace. May it, may it be home for those who seek knowledge and repel solitude. Dogs. Oh, Matt added this sign so that we know there's a different way here. That's nice. Because I remember in the original game this was a bit confusing, you know, like this entry is pretty obvious, but you totally miss this one that goes to the right. Welcome to the world's famous winter palace of the 4th dynasty. Built in 1832 by Sir Henry O'Toole, a young architect, barely known at the time, merely a servant of the king's master urbanist. After finishing the, this palace, O'Toole gained respect in modern art circles of the western kingdom. This winter palace and surrounding gardens are prime examples of anti-structural architecture, freed from the boundaries of material durability. Make sure you also visit the famous Kent Lighthouse, built by the same architect. Thank you for coming, hope to see you again. Interesting, so this palace and the lighthouse are built by the same person. The hell? Portal! We are finally entering the era of the portals, which is pretty cool. Now you know how Murtex karma portals work, you just use one. They can in fact transport you through different dimensions. However, the ones drawn within the core are short range. Those were the first ones that he, had, that he has ever drawn. A test, baby steps if you will. Now that you used one, please do not use them anymore. They shattered the fabric of this dimension. Murtag neglected that fact and just look around where we ended. <laughs> Once there was a man who said we knew what was happening after Murtag left. Since then, that man left us as well. I remember. 
remember there was a secret here as well. In one of these cracks, there's this. I knew it. All right. It's funny, my memory doesn't recall the games that well, but recalls details within the games. Especially the secrets, which is funny. Why does this sociopath talk only to Elizabeth? Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Basically, we're gonna read it about it anyway in a further note, but basically Mortag exists in all the dimensions at once, because he can travel through all of them. Well, so we, basically we are one dimensional, while Mortag is like seven dimensional, so to say. He exists within seven planes at once and we are just in one. So it's not that he's ignoring the people around him, it's just that he cannot see them. Elizabeth is the only one he can see. I don't know why though. Why is she specifically? I don't know if this is a specific combo. Right. Triangle. Circle. Right. I know it is kind of ironic to dock my laboratory out here in the ruins of the Winter Palace. The king always wanted this palace to become a safe haven for people of science. Here I am, my king, Elizabeth. To the left is dock 3, right is dock 4. Triangle. Dock 3 is totally gone. Dock 4 is here, but I gotta trigger it. I gotta trigger the the ship. What happened? Why did this stop working? Oh, I'm... I'm confused. What did I do? Oh, I see. I see. I see, I see, I see. Control room. This was the only one that was up, I believe. Or down. And I put everything up. Something like that. I gotta switch this all. Yeah. Okay. I got it. I, it was taking me a second to remember that I did that. There has to be something here. Why would I come here and have nothing to do? Okay. So when things started to collapse, why did certain bits and pieces get left behind? They just stayed in place. And why why those in, in particular? Hell. So now we know the square as well. I'm still missing the circle piece. Though. The way that it has such different architectures and structures together in the same place is so wild. You have plants, you have these floating things that look really modern, you have this floating old building. Such a mess of different things here. Does this bring me back to the first portal?
Yeah, it's the first portal. Okay, I see. It is. Circle. circle again. Ooh. Ooh, this change as well. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Before, I think it, it used to be either a black screen or just some random grid or something. I really like these additions of these um, bri uh, bright plants on the background. Monolith Catalyst. Sure. Oh, what the fuck? Why is this drawn? This used to be like perfect squares. It's so weird to see it like this now. If the subnet is the universe, then the loops are black holes. Fair enough. So I know three symbols, but I still have no fucking idea about the order. The fourth dynasty, at the peak of its cultural and technological development, was able to create the first man made submachine structure. That was around the beginning of the 20th century, and is now considered the birth date of the Outer Ring. Those first structures were merely flawed copies of the original structures, but in time they grew into something completely autonomous. Attempts to chart new territories failed miserably, leaving the vast submachine wilderness to its own. Hmm. So they were able to artificially create a submachine structure, a replicate, but then it got autonomous and out of control. Once the great scheme of things was clearly visible through the layers of seven main dimensions, now due to corrosion, collapse and spontaneous growth of the outer ring, the plan is al almost unrecognizable. We humans deserted the outer ring and the outer ring responded with deserting us. Nothing but decay ensues. The plan is lost. Okay. Ooh. This is cool. Solenoid. Is this the other side of the tree? <coughs> I feel like I should be taking screenshots. How am I gonna guess the order though? How are they gonna hint me? The order. Very good. There we go. Gotta put those there. Where am I now? I need to know where I am. So I'm here. I can't know where this is. I just realized. So the quadrants one. 
this one. This is the third. Center. Fifth. Okay. This one is two. So one is the quadrant one. Half circle. Just missing the bulb. Now what? Chest. Oh. There we go. I believe this pulled the ship down in the dock. Yep. Still didn't use this light bulb though. Why did that open? And I have nothing inside. My dear Elizabeth, even in my strangest dreams, I never thought I would be able to create cross-dimensional pathways leading to unexplored places. My new experiment took me right below the lighthouse, straight into the buried remains of the original construction. You can call me a discoverer from now on. Mind you, I only use the crystalline shard I found lately as a source of energy. Imagine where we could possibly go using the lighthouse itself and its full power of light. I'm considering moving to another place in the next 32 days. Will it take care of Einstein for me? This note was in the second game. Dear Murtag, I understand your desire to build another karma portal within the lighthouse. I urge you not to do this. Once you leave the core, no one knows where you'll end up. The outer ring is endless. No one knows what type of mutations of submachines grow out there. I will take care of Einstein, but remember this, once you step through that portal, you'll never go back. You can never go back. The core will forever be, the core will be forever lost to you. Hell. Well, Elizabeth, hate to break it to you, but I don't think he listened. Check what's on the other side first. It's no wonder they wanted to bury this whole lighthouse with him, in, with him still inside. The collapse death toll was growing exponentially. The, way, the fact that it looks like there were shots. Someone had a pistol here. It's interesting. I can hear Murtag breaching the defenses of my ship. It is high time for me to leave this dimension. I'm sorry I couldn't wait for you any longer, but I fear that with one more karma portal placed, this dimension will collapse entirely. I know what he wants to do. I know why he came back to the core. He's after those who buried him alive in that lighthouse. I have to warn them. I have to get to the fifth layer. I wish you could follow me, but I have only one rescue pod left. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Emergency exit. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't press the, the exit, though. I didn't press the fucking emergency exit. Shit. 
chapter 8, the plan. Wait, before I finish this game, let me go back. See if I can continue the game and see. Okay. Is it, is it the sewer thing that I couldn't interact before? I finally understood how they could mimic the structure of the subnet within a garden. They didn't have to mimic, they were already living inside the subnet. Okay. Okay. Good thing that I came back. Because I found it super weird why was there a place to interact with and nothing else to do. Micro stabilizers, I have five! Okay, oh that's awesome. There's a different exit if I find all the micro stabilizers. That's great. Nero, please just let me be for a second. Come on. We the king bid you farewell and wish you safe wish you stay safe. We hope you find the destination of your travel. May we meet again one blessed day. Oh another secret. I just have notes, I have no more items. Okay. Well, but this is nice. I feel accomplished to think that I found all the secrets in the game without searching for help. That's so cool. I recall the locations of many of them. If not all of them, and the rest I just found by searching. And the next game is called what? The plan. Okay. So we got three games left and there's four optional games as well, which I'm going to play all at once. The optional ones, I mean, I'm glad that I kept my expectations low because this one had no jumps the other dimensions either. So, yeah, I, I do believe that I was just confusing with the fourth game. And I know that in one of the further games, the thing of jumping back is going to happen a lot and it's going to be awesome. But I know it happens on the 10th game. I don't know if it happens on the 8th or 9th as well. But yeah, this one was also pretty chill. Not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm really liking the part of in the integration of the micro stabilizers. I'm very curious about the, what all these secret areas are going to culminate to. What are they going to be for? I'm interested. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Take care.